Sasha from Mobile Geeks here at Mobile World Congress 2013 in Barcelona. It's the very last day, the Thursday, and this is supposed to be our very last video. And you know, last but not the least, because that's very interesting, and that's a platform we've been talking about for way over a year right now. So this is the ARM Big Little Processor Technology, and what what is it doing? Um, I mean, we heard a lot of rumors, especially um, together with the Samsung Galaxy S4 which is getting launched in March on the 14th in New York. Um, so you better watch out for our coverage. Um, we have two platforms over here. On this side, there is a platform that is running the Big Little. Um, and uh, as you can see, it's switching back and forth between the Cortex-A15 and the Cortex-A7 because that's what this technology is all about. So you have a Cortex-A15 if you need some really decent performance and you can switch back to the Cortex-A7 when you don't need you know, that much of a boom and boost, for example, when you're just doing some web surfing or when you're just doing some video playback, right? Uh, a single video playback, even an HD uh, video playback or video file doesn't need a lot of performance because it's all hardware accelerated by the GPU. And over here, we we have um, an ARM Cortex-A15 device, it's this little box here, and you can definitely see the difference in the energy consumption. Here look at the TDP on this one, on the dual core A15, and here is the big little technology, which roughly consumes about 30 to 50 percent less. Ah, 50 percent less. But anyways, um, let's talk about this tablet prototype over here. That's the Samsung uh, tablet prototype, which is running this infamous octa-core. So we have four Cortex-A15 and four Cortex-A7. And there's a little benchmark running here in a browser. And you can see when it's switching back and forth between the different architectures. So now we are on the A7 using this map navigation. And here we go. Here kicks, in, kicks the uh, Cortex-A15 in. Now we're back to the A7. Now it's changing it a little bit. There's a seven score here. Look at this. Bang. That's quite interesting to see, right? Especially now. We're using complex graphics and the Cortex-A15 really kicks in right now. So, can't tell you if it's going to be in the Samsung Galaxy S4. Definitely keeping my fingers crossed for it because, I mean, that's the future of SOCs. You need to have these cores that don't consume a lot of power. Battery life has been always an issue for the last couple of years, especially with these bigger screens, with a higher resolution, and this might be uh, the solution to this. So, I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks over here at the ARM booth, taking a very first look at the octa-core processor of the, with, using the big little technology. Thanks for watching. Thank you.